How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the virus. Remember that? The virus from about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, that everybody was so scared of. They had everybody going to get toilet paper, paper towels, hand sanitizer, cleaning supplies. You can't go to school, you can't go to work, can't go to church, can't go anywhere. The movies, the shopping mall, can't go anywhere. Okay? You got to put on the mask, gloves, all kind of stuff, right? Basically, a makeshift hazmat suit to even go outside. That's what was drilled into us for months, March, April, May. But now all of a sudden in June, that's not a story anymore. Two weeks ago, it was all over the news, all over everywhere, but now it's gone. What changed? George Floyd. So if I got to thank George Floyd for anything, it's killing the virus. Before Floyd, that was all that was on the news, nothing else. Virus this, virus that. You had Anthony Fauci almost every day going there and talking about, oh, if it don't stay home, you're going to have a million deaths in the streets. That's what he was saying, right? All these so-called health experts talking about, oh, if you want to go protest for the right to go to work, for the right to feed your kids, for the right for your kids to go back to school and get an education. If you were fighting for that in a peaceful protest with no looting, no shooting, no rioting, no nothing, then you were selfish. You wanted to kill your grandmama. And matter of fact, if you were spotted out there, you shouldn't even receive medical benefits, no health care, no nothing. OK, that's what they said just two weeks ago, three weeks ago. But now that's all gone. Like I said, George Floyd is the reason why that's gone. Because after he died up there in Minneapolis, you've had riots, protests all over the country. These riots, protests, same thing in this circumstance, are really, really populous. You're talking about 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 or more people in one little tight space. Now, to their credit, they are wearing masks. A lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them are wearing masks. They're not social distancing at all because they're pretty much elbow to elbow, but they are wearing masks. And you have these so-called health experts and health officials saying it's okay because what did one person say? Potentially getting the virus is less important than black lives or the other way around. Black lives are more important than potentially getting the virus. It's like, really? <laughs> is that what you're going to say? 1,000 health experts, quote unquote experts, signed a letter supporting the anti-black racism protests. Basically, they support you going out there and fighting for Black Lives Matter. But if you go out there and want to fight for, oh no, the right to go to church, the right to go to school, the right to go to work. Oh, no, we can't have that. A non-existent problem of police brutality. It happens, but it's not a problem. Like, you know, lightning strikes could be a problem, but are you going to go out there and stage a protest for it? No, it's not a very common thing that happens, even if you could control it. But different story, I digress. My whole point is that you could protest for Black Lives Matter and be 25,000 deep. But if you want to go to an anti-lockdown order protest, then you're selfish. You want to kill your grandmama. You hate humanity. You want to spread the virus, all this, that, and the third. The virus is a thing of the past, at least where I am. I'm in the South of Tennessee. It could be different depending upon where you are. If you're in New York City, it might be different. If you're in L.A., I'm not sure what's happening there. But I think we're past this whole thing with the virus. Really what it is, is like a version of the flu. And we know how the flu is. It comes around every flu season. That's when it's cold or cool. Right now, today in Tennessee, it's 85 degrees and sunny. Not a cloud in the sky. Why are we talking about wearing masks and gloves and social distancing for what? Last month, I was hearing from some officials that we would not return to normal until we get a vaccine or a cure. But is that the same now? Has that changed? I think it has changed because ain't no vaccine and it won't be a cure. Viruses really don't get cured. The common cold is a form of a coronavirus and it's been around for a very long time. Is there a cure? Is there a vaccine even? No, it's not. You get it, you get over it, and you move on. Now, some people with compromised immune systems may catch it and then pass away. But that's so rare, it's not worth talking about. The more we see from all these protests and riots, 
the more we understand how overblown this thing with the virus was. And I think the reason why the virus is overblown is the same reason why this whole George Floyd situation is overblown. It's because social media. That is the main catalyst for all these things to get blown way out of proportion. It's easy. Once you are looking at your phone, you're getting inundated with negative information all the time, 24 seven. It's easy for it to just stick in your brain and have it just be there. So if people are wanting you to be afraid, it's easy to do it. They could program you through your phone, through television, and everything else. You, you got the, the reinforcement bias. You're seeing it on CNN, ABC, CBS, Fox, everywhere. You're seeing it constantly. Okay. So you're seeing it so much. It makes you believe that it's real, number one. And number two, any detractor are just conspiracy theorists, tenfold hat, rather than just a regular person like you are that thinks differently. I was saying the same thing from the very beginning, that this whole virus thing was overblown. Yes, it is a virus. Yes, it does hurt some people, but it's not that bad. It's like the flu, just a little bit worse. Not really that serious, okay? Now, I got some kickback from that to say, ABL, how are you going to say that? You're being selfish. You're not listening to the experts. Where are the experts now? The same experts I was admonished for not listening to now say, it's all right if you want to go out there and protest because black lives are more important than the virus. All right. So I just don't really understand which one is it? Is it if I go outside and a group of five or more without a mask, without social distancing, I'm trying to kill my grandma, or is it I can go out there and protest for a cause that some people feel like is fit? Let's be clear. If I'm outside and I'm close to people, I'm outside and I'm close to people. It doesn't really matter what it is. It could be a Black Lives Matter march. It could be a anti-lockdown march. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm still in the same position. But now they're telling me, oh, it's okay if you want to be there for Black Lives Matter. Not for anything else, though. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. My faith in the so-called experts, they get tied all around television, newspapers, whatever. I have zero faith. All my faith is gone in these so-called experts. I know who to trust. Dr. Shiva, Dr. Batar, Dr. Mikovic, people that got ostracized, land-based it. Now we know they're right. They're vindicated for what they were saying. Dr. Erickson over there in California, they're vindicated for what they were saying. I'm vindicated from what I was saying. This virus thing is a hoax. Yes, it was there. Yes, it was kind of bad, but it wasn't that bad. Okay. We did not need to shut down the whole economy for months, spend trillions of dollars in debt that we don't have to try and fix what we broke by shutting down the country. We did not need to do it. We could have been like Sweden and just had little minor changes, wear a mask, maybe at the most, moderate social distancing, and have that be that. Every single day, this whole virus thing gets proven to be more and more overblown. Like I said, it's a product of social media. Now they're saying, oh, well, there's like little to no evidence of uh, a person spreading the virus that is not showing any symptoms. That's asymptomatic. That's like, oh, well, you don't say. So me uh, wearing the mask when I don't have a fever, when I don't have symptoms, is not needed. Oh, well, you don't say. And then um, I think a doctor came on TV and said, well, yeah, it's spread by those that sneeze and cough on you. It's like anything. It's like, it's like the flu, the common cold or anything else. We have basic things we can do in this country to prevent from getting sick from anything. All we got to do is stick to that and we'll be just fine. The George Floyd thing has proven as much. You get all these rallies and protests in the same cities where they said, if you go outside, you're going to die. The same experts support them. They 15, 20, 25,000 deep, elbow to elbow. Where's the spike in the virus? Where's all the new cases? Where's the hospital rooms filled with people? If anything, they're doing what we should have been doing from the very start, which was doing the herd immunity. Some are going to die, but a lot of people died just being in their houses too. You can't really escape it. You got to be able to build a tolerance to it. That's why you have an immune system. When you don't build tolerance, you have less ability to fight off natural viruses. The more you're in the house, the more you're able to actually catch other things. Hopefully you're not still in your crib because uh, the, the virus thing is over with. That's not even a thing anymore. If you live in this state where they still got that going on, then I don't understand why. It makes no sense. 
we're into June already. It, it's, it's hot. Like, what are we thinking about? But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that this whole virus thing was overblown? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or was it not overblown? Should we have shut the whole country down, stayed at home for months, lost trillions of dollars in money that we got to make up for down the line because it's debt. It's like a mortgage on our back, a mortgage on your kid's back. You know where I stand. I think that this whole thing was overblown from the jump. I said it back then and I say it now. I've not changed my stance. Yes, it's a virus. Yes, it is bad in some cases, but no, it's not that bad. No, we should not just shut down the whole economy and take out trillions of debt. That's a common sense type of thing. And the very same people that push that narrative are now out there in the protest themselves. Okay. Uh, nurses love the nurses. They're out there TikToking in the crowd. <laughs> I mean, shout out to all the good nurses. You guys are good. But the TikTokers that want to cry about this, cry about that. I'm not really trying to hear it. All these experts crying about the crime. I'm not trying to hear any experts, any uh, vigilante nurses or nothing like that. The virus is over with, and I'm not trying to hear anything more about it. I don't want to come back in November like, oh, it's a rebound. Nope, don't want to hear it. I'm over it. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.